we got an interesting raid boss arena this week. All right, so it's my raid bosses versus yours. This is gonna be fun. So I think uh, Jose, yes, Jose's up first, but I think he was just telling me in Discord. Hold up, let me pull this up. Um, uh, he hasn't inherited any spirits yet, so I don't know. So I'm guessing he doesn't have the added, uh, you know, extra attack and defense and uh, anything for support spirit. So he might be at a little disadvantage, but hey, you never know. Amiibos can uh, surprise you. So this is going to be fun. So uh, everybody gets to pick which of the seven raid bosses I've done so far that they want to face. So uh, he wanted to face Cuphead first. So here we go. Let's do this. Cuphead versus Villager. This is going to be good. So, uh, wow, he's got a very aggressive uh, Villager. I kind of like this throw a cuphead off his game I, I kind of like this I like this this is good this is good so uh yeah cuphead I think uh if anybody remembers he did end up losing three times overall oh nice catch by villager catching the missile but uh cuphead did lose three times overall in his raid boss uh, a few weeks ago and then uh what was it last week there you go cuphead picking up the first point good stuff cuphead uh then last week I uh Sent my Cuphead out on an Amiibo journey. Uh, you get three matches in that. He ended up winning two of them, and then he took second place in the third match. So he didn't do too bad overall, but the competition wasn't the greatest except for the uh, the third match. Ended up facing a level 49 Bowser and a level 40 or a level 50 Kirby, I believe it was. So uh, there's some pretty decent competition, and um, yeah, I, I'm liking this is uh, this is what I wanted to do, you know, just. I love Amiibos, and, you know, since the Amiibo journey is the only way to really... There you go, Cuphead. Keep racking up that damage. Keep healing yourself. There's another point, Cuphead. Let's go, baby. But, um, uh, yeah, he... Uh, I, since, yeah, since Amiibo journey is the only way to really be able to get, like, Amiibo versus Amiibo battles, there's no actual, like, Amiibo arenas. You gotta kind of search for some. I figured, let's do our own, and, uh, we got three people, I believe, today, so, uh... Yeah, um, hey, three people, but they might all have multiple amiibos. Maybe they each only have one. I'm not sure. We'll find out. So these should be good fights. And again, everybody will get to pick which raid boss they want to face. So if everyone wants to face Cuphead for some reason, everybody gets to face Cuphead. If somebody wants to face King Crusher or Not Hard DK or Sleepy Time, that Jigglypuff from last week was absolutely brutal. So we'll see what happens. This should be some good stuff, though. All right. Can, uh, can Villager get the comeback here? Can he start Mountain? No. Cuphead uses a down tilt. I was not expecting that. Matchup number two. We have Spooky with his Lonk taking on... Uh, maybe his Lonk 2.0. I didn't I didn't quite catch the name. But it's uh, Link versus my Not Hard DK. He said Dealer's Choice. So I actually just went and grabbed Random Amiibo. One of the seven that I have... Uh, ready for raid bosses so I just happened to pick DK so let's see how not hard DK stacks up so um link should be interesting in terms of uh, uh, play style here that remote bomb uh, he could do some crazy stuff with that uh, link is one of the uh, I think smarter amiibos in the games when it comes to play style so uh, yeah all those projectiles the boomerangs the arrows the of course like I said the remote bombs um, should be some fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, my not hard DK. I mean, he just swatted Link out there, so that's good. Picks up the first point. But uh, my point, Donkey Kong's never faced Link. I don't know if his Link's ever faced a DK before. So uh, they're kind of both of the Amiibos are feeling each other out right now. We'll see how this one uh, see how this one goes. But uh, again, my not hard DK has that uh, that uh, was it the Halberd Spirit that it great greatly. Greatly increases defense and slightly increases offense as well, but it also makes his speed go down a little bit So I offset that with the speed up so regular speed um, Yeah, regular speed and uh, Yeah, he's just he's, he's a tank. He's a he's a force to be reckoned with he can be beat though uh, Except oh my goodness. He didn't he didn't not hard DK did not lose in any of his raid boss battles So he does have that going for him. We'll see if uh any of my undefeated ones uh, can stay undefeated today. Cause, hey, you never know. We got some quality competition here, and I'm, I'm very excited for this. So, not hard, DK. Let's get back into it. Start swatting him away. Come on. Yes. Roll. Yes. DK, he's got so many different uh, spike options. You got to be careful if you're going to be off stage. He's going to get you. And he gets it. He picks it up. GG's to Lonk. Ah, 
I was waiting for it. Jesse bringing his Mew who? I like. I love the name by the way. That, that's that's clever. So he wanted to face my raid boss King Crusher. So uh, last week actually, just for fun, we were kind of um, messing around a little bit. I believe it was three matches they ended up doing. My King Crusher did win all three, but I have to give mad props to his Mewtwo. Two of those matches were extremely close. So his Mewtwo puts up a very, very good fight. So uh, we'll see how he plays this time. Um, I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping King Crusher comes back like he did last week and uh, should be good. King Crush is aggressive. His Mewtwo uh, strikes with a lot of uh, ferocity, a lot of great different moves. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. I'm, I'm very excited. This should be good. This should be good. So King Crusher, you got uh, you got a lot uh, riding on this. Again, he's never been defeated by anybody. He was an, again, he was one of the other raid bosses that I did. Very first one who never lost. There you go. Midair drop kick. But he's in big range. He's 170 damage. Yeah, there you go. Mewtwo strikes back immediately. This is a very even match. I love this one. I love this matchup. Like I said, we did this uh, last week for fun a little bit. It was off camera. It was just kind of messing around type stuff. But, um, yeah, his Mewtwo... Uh, yeah, King Crusher did win all three. I know I just said that. But his Mewtwo, I have, again, I got to give him mad props for it. Big time competition. He was very aggressive. He, uh, he met... There he... Oh, I thought he had it, but the propeller, I think it saved him. Either that or the, uh, his, uh... That super armor that he has uh, didn't make him flinch right there. So that super armor on K. Rule is uh, pretty, uh, pretty beastly. So, man, he keeps trying to go for that spike. Mewtwo is just not at uh, high enough uh, percentage right now. That's not going to really quite save him. So come on, King Crusher, come back. Let's go. There you go. We need, we need to get an elimination. Let's go. Oh, we went for the back air. Mewtwo counters. Good stuff right there. There's the stomach to the face. Patented, patent that move right there. Stomach to the face. Come on, Kid Crush, you gotta come back. Gotta rack up a bit of damage. Odds are Mewtwo's taking this stock right here, and we're gonna go down to the final stock. So, we need you to rack up some sort of damage. Get as much as you can right now. I mean, you got 8.3. That's not much. So, uh, let me see if I remember his Mewtwo. I think his Mewtwo actually had uh, his, the Halberd as well, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I'd have to double check. But uh, the Halberd's the same one that my Not Hard DK has. Uh, extreme defense and uh, slightly increased offense. So there you go. Mewtwo strike it back. Was that a little taunt by Mewtwo? Is that a little taunt by... You're going to taunt on Kid Crusher? Okay. Okay. Kid Crusher, come... You got to come back and crush the competition now, buddy. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go. There you go. Mewtwo. See, the thing is... Um, Uh-oh. There's another new person? Okay. We got some new people in the uh, in the arena, apparently. In the Discord's going, going off right now. So I got to figure out who these people are. Oh, he beat me! I didn't even see it! Did he footstool me? I don't, I don't see what happened. Alright, rematch! Let's go. So Mewtwo just defeated King Crusher. Let's see if King Crusher gets a little bit angry over that. So, uh, I've been watching a few matches since then, and, uh, Jesse's Mewtwo has been, uh, kind of destroying the competition. He defeated a Link, defeated a Ryu just now in an extremely close match. Uh, and, uh, who else did he defeat? There was another one in there. Uh, I think I missed the first one, but, uh, I think he's... After, okay, since he beat King Crusher, he's won like four in a row. So this is uh, this is pretty good. This is a this is a really good, tra uh, greatly trained Mewtwo. So uh, King Crusher definitely's got his work cut out for him, buddy. Let's see if he can bounce back. If he can bounce back, that'll be great. I mean, Mewtwo is putting up a great fight. He's showing he could be a formidable opponent. Look at that first strike. Mewtwo strikes back. <laughs> Mewtwo, get it? The Pokemon movie reference? Anybody? No? Nobody? Okay. Look at that. Come on, Kid Crusher. We need you to, like, step it up here. We need you to step it up. Come on. We need you to get some more eliminations. We need you... I mean, like... Like, attacks in, uh, are, are good. They're great. That's how you're gonna rack up damage. Bounce Mewtwo like a basketball, baby. But he didn't even get the elimination. Mewtwo comes back easy. No, don't taunt now. I need to get the elimination first and then taunt. Now you can taunt. And then he doesn't want to. We are all tied at one. Mewtwo's throwing in another little taunt. I see you, Mewtwo. I see you. All right. Again, just like all four of our previous fights. I mean, you guys only seen the one, but all four of the previous fights. This is it's coming down to this is coming down to the wire. This is a very close matchup. So, I need you to step up your aggressiveness. Even though you're an offensive amiibo, you can still be very aggressive. So we need to we need to see that. We need to see that. Don't get hit by those powerful attacks. I mean, it's easier said than done. I could. Oh. 
Oh, the winning streak came to an end. GG's to Mew Who. All right, so here's a new person. Not sure who this is. They're not in the Discord. Whoa, is that a giant Lucas? Giant Lucas. All right, so um, we got a few people in the uh, Discord that have been saying they want to face my dark pit. So, um, uh, unfortunately, the, this person, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're here. That's all good. This is a raid boss arena battle. Do it. Do it. Oh, man. All right, but, um, yeah, so some people wanted Dark Pit. That's why Dark Pit is up here. Uh, if Dark Pit loses, maybe he does. I don't know. I think Dark Pit was, uh, what, one of the ones that have not lost as well. There you go, the down air. Watch out for that down air. That's like, it, oh, that's like the thing he does extremely well. You always gotta watch out for it. You never know. The variety of down airs. Actually, it's not really variety. It's just the same thing over and over. Just watch out for it. Dark Pit, he did a lot better than I expected, so, um... Let's see if he can keep that up. Lucas strike him back though. All right, so uh, this Lucas might be pretty decent, but uh, my dark pit's pretty good as well. Dark pit, what are you doing? You just let him. Wow, dark pit, come on, bro. He gets another win. Okay, that's kind of cool right there. That's kind of cool right there. Let's go. Jose wanted. Uh, Jose wanted dark pit. Jose's getting dark pit. So. Um, this is actually kind of cool. Did you see that? Like, I only have the max for the arena at seven. We got seven people in here. This is good. All right, Jose. Good luck. You wanted the Dark Pit. Dark Pit against Palutena. Let's see how this goes. Look, Palutena could be a pretty decent amiibo as well. Could be a very decent amiibo. So I I'm curious to see how this one plays out. I always love amiibo battles. I mean, like, you guys know this. I'm a huge amiibo collector. I have every single smash amiibo to date except the player two ones um i didn't get those in time and now they're too expensive but uh, i have every i have at least one amiibo of every current character on the roster except for the dlc characters by the way nintendo can we please get like an update on that Woo! dark pit get that down there baby don't go off stage against my dark pit he will punish you and you will absolutely feel it because well he's just gonna get a stock off it <laughs> Okay, Palutena, what were you doing? Yeah, don't don't dash dance on Dark Pit. Don't you dare do that. Dark Pit's gonna come back and say, nope, don't don't even try it. Electroshock, get out! Get out of here! Side special! Get him, Dark Pit! Show him why you're undefeated! Show him why you didn't lose ever! Let's do this! This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Gonna come down to the wire, I think. Palutena, she's got it in her uh, she's got capability, she's got the moves. She can come back. Although, the one thing about I was gonna say, oh, Dark Pit wins, but GG's anyway. Oh, right, Festive. What's up? What's up, buddy? How you doing? All right, so Festive did not have uh, any amiibo, but he wanted to face PK Spam. All I'm gonna say is, uh, you, you asked for it. Just, just remember that, all right? You asked for this, so we'll see. Hopefully, PK Spam isn't too spammy, but we see his name. We know what he does. That PK Fire's coming in. It's gonna hit you. Uh, oh, he put him to sleep! Hit him with it! There you go, look at that. Charge up smash attack did about 10%. That's dumb. That's just dumb. But hey, it's all good. Alright, there you go. Oh, he hits him with it again! Hits him with it again! Put him to sleep! Put him to sleep! And that's where you're going. That's one of his problems. Sometimes he gets a little too far off stage for my liking. He's able to recover that time. He's able to recover. Come on! Neutral air! Up air! That works too! There you go. PK spam. He's got a lot of different KO options. Gotta watch out for him. There you go, puts him to sleep for once the third time? Third time, and he gets the illumination. Festive looking pretty decent right now. I mean, he's racking up damage, but he's, he's holding it. It's 1-1 one, one so far. In terms of uh, points, it's even. It's even. A anybody's game. Anybody's game. Ooh, PK Ness. PK, <laughs> PK Ness. No, PK Spam. All right. He's a <laughs> Where are you going? God, you're dumb. God, you're dumb. All right. Festive has a legit chance now. Festive has a legit chance. Ness literally put his brain into a blender and went, I forgot I'm a raid boss. What am I doing? We're going to come down to the final. Oh, we missed that time. Good. PK, PK Ness. Maybe I should just call him PK Ness. Nah, PK spins better. All right. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. I'm still baffled. I've never, I mean, the one loss that he had, PK spam, the one loss he had, he was extremely stupid. Oh, 
He's able to attack it, able to stay, save himself right there. Come on, Festive. Come on, Festive. Maybe somebody can beat. Maybe an actual person. I mean, that's pretty close. Hey, he got him down to one life left. Oh, he actually got that. I didn't, I didn't know if that one was going to get the KO right there, but it did. But Mewtwo is like, you know what? I don't care. I'm striking right back. Mewtwo strikes back again. Mewtwo movie sequel. We need to see more Mewtwo. Mewtwo is awesome. What a, what a freaking legendary to start things off. You know, the, what, Mewtwo's a mythical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a great, what, what a perfect, like, just legendary Pokemon. He's always been a fan favorite. He's just awesome. He's finally back in Smash Bros. Deserves his spot on the roster. He doesn't deserve to get PK fired a thousand times. Nasby, nice! Arches win, I guess. That's fine, too. All right, we got uh, a Ryu Amiibo here. So I'm going to apologize. I'm not going to know how to pronounce it. Karumel? 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 Uh, can I call you Ka? I, I hope that's okay. Anyway, we'll just go Ryu. So uh, we got Ryu. Oh, no. Ryu's taunted quite a bit. Uh, Ka just joined the uh, the Discord. So uh, <laughs> and he, right as I said that, Ka just po uh, posted. He taunted like two times already. <laughs> I think uh, I was saying... Uh, that is, uh, Ryu does taunt every few seconds. And I feel the pain of that. Sometimes Amiibo... Did Ness just get an elimination? Okay. Good stuff, PK Spam. Good stuff. Ryu strike it right back, though. That's good. I like to see that. But, um... Uh, I feel the pain. Sometimes Amiibo, even when you don't train them to taunt whatsoever, they will still throw out the most random taunts at the most random times, and it's like, What are you doing? Get it into your head! Stop taunting, please! Ryu, okay, I see you, buddy. I see you right there, coming out strong right now. He's got the lead right now. He's at 92% damage, so Ness could uh, could kind of have him. Oh no, oh no, the fires, they're burning. They're the home run. They knocked it out of the park. Get in there, baby. All right, one, one v one. I'm liking this one. We got a close matchup again. Anytime you got a close match, it just makes it so much better. This is a really good way to just test out how good your amiibo is against other people. And I'm glad there's other people that are passionate about this. This is a, this is absolutely incredible. This is... Yeah. Ryu got that! I didn't know who got the attack off! Ryu beat PK Spam! Alright, we got another challenger here. We got a Zelda raid boss. This should be interesting. Zelda! Alright, so Zelda recently had some buffs, so... Uh, the Amiibo, the Raid Boss, will be able to take advantage of that. King Crusha is back again, so uh, we'll see how he fares. Zelda's going to be... Uh, Zelda could be quite annoying, but in a good way for Zelda. Look at all that damage. That super armor can come in to uh, really hurt uh, K. Rule against these... Uh, uh, these. Wow, look at that. Zelda strike in immediately. That was good stuff. Uh, but... Yeah, that super armor might come back to kind of haunt uh, K. Rule in just a little bit, like in a, in a way, because he's not going to take any flinching. He's not going to, you know, take any knockback. So they're just going to be able to sit there and do the attack. Oh, look at like that. Look at all that damage. Usually that's going to have some knockback. Look at Zelda go absolutely crazy. What is happening? Zelda is a beast. This Zelda's a monster. Jose, why? You've been hiding the Zelda this whole time. Excuse me. Excuse me, I didn't know about this. I didn't know about this. Yeah. What the hell? He just Zelda just three out King King Crusher. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so Zelda just beat King Crusher. Now I reached into the bag of random raid bosses and I pulled out Barth number four or Crom, as you will. So. Let's see how this one plays out. This Zelda has been mowing through everybody in the arena. This is, um, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. And the funny thing is, Jose was telling me his Zelda raid boss doesn't even have support spirits yet. So to think, the only thing that's been fed to this Zelda, the only thing was a Calamity Ganon. That's a legend spirit. But it's, it was only one spirit. No support spirits. That is absolutely frightening to think about. This Zelda raid boss 
can only get more powerful? Can even get... Wow! I can't even wrap my head around that. She three-stocked King Crusha. That was... That was just... I've never seen that happen. Ever. Didn't think I ever would, but it did happen. And now she's running roughshod through everybody. All right, Krom. Marth number four. You gotta, you gotta prove your worth. Prove that you're a raid boss. I know, I think you lost twice. I think my Krom, or my Marth number four lost twice. So, hopefully he can pick up a W here. That would be, that would be good. Zelda, though, what a formidable opponent so far. Zelda is absolutely just slaying it right now. Get it, Zelda. Get it, Marth number four. Woo! All right, hey, I ain't counting Zelda out whatsoever. See, look at that. She came right back. Right back. She's in this. Crom number four. Crom number four. Now I can't even get the name right. Marth number four, though, has got his work cut out for him. He might have the lead, but against Zelda, I don't think any lead is safe. She is... Woof. Woof. Oh! Oh! Wow! Marth number four, where did that come from? Ka is back one more time with Pokemon Trainer. Let's do this. I think, yeah, last time he had the Ryu, but this time Pokemon Trainer. So Pokemon Trainer, you gotta defend, you gotta worry about so many different types. You got Squirtle, the, the quick little rack up damage. You got Ivysaur, the, uh, the the middle ground character. Great, just all around character. Love Ivysaur, great air attacks. And then of course Charizard. I mean, Charizard's the finisher. He's the closer. So uh, we'll see how Krom or Marth number four is able to stack up against this Pokemon Trainer Raid Boss. Now, uh, going back, I think it was about a month ago. I think it was a month ago. There we go. There we go. There's a point. There's a point. But I think it was a month ago when we had that uh, Amiibo online tournament. And Nintendo Smash Bros, you need to bring that back, please. Please, do that once a month. Please. That was so much fun. But um, in that, I faced... So many quality uh, uh, Pokemon Trainer Amiibos. There, th people train those things extremely well. I know Choctopus has his uh, his Pumpkin Raid boss. That thing's a beast as well. That thing's a beast as well. But Pokemon Trainer, they got so many different types, so many different attacks. You don't know how to prepare. But so far, I th look at that, Marth number four. He's actually holding his ground so far. Where is this coming from, Marth? Where is this coming from? Oof, there you go. Pokemon trying to strike him back. Picking up one point right there. Marth number four, though. Gotta watch out. You don't know what he's gonna do. Because he's, well, I mean, yeah. He kind of, you, you know what he's gonna do. He's a blue-haired swordsman. He's just gonna use his sword. He's pretty good at it, though. He's pretty good at it. He doesn't want to die. I mean, he's died once. He's died once, but he doesn't want to die any more than that. And that's it. Pokemon trainer, your time is up. You're about to get critical hit, fainted, one hit KO'd. Okay, you can't really get one hit KO'd when you're already at 108%. Come on, Krom. Come on, Marth number four. Finish him. Finish him. Slay the dragon. All right, final few battles. Everyone has picked the raid boss they want to face. Starting with Jesse and Mew, who, who is taking on King Crusher once again. So, uh, I believe I've lost track, actually. I think Mewhu and King Crush have only faced each other twice this round, I believe, and I think it's 1-1. I could be wrong, but there's been so many different battles, so many different amiibo swaps. We'll see how this one plays out. So, uh, these two always have a great, very close, very competitive matchup, so uh, I'm expecting nothing less than that. Oh, we went for the back air. That back air by K. Rule is so filthy. Don't get caught with that. Don't get caught by that. Okay, Rule's going on a punching and kicking spree right there, but then uh, Mewtwo was able to strike down. He caught, he got him below the stage. That's how you're going to do it. Don't let him hit that up special because that propeller's going to kind of save him there for a little bit. Wasn't able to save him there, obviously, because uh, he... Oh! Whoa! Coming back with the spike. This is what I'm talking about. So close. So close. So competitive. This is good stuff here. This is what I like seeing. This is what I like seeing. I know Jesse said, like, the only problem that he thinks he has with the Mewtwo is that he holds and charges uh, smash attacks a little too long. Oh, is he gonna be able to recover? Oh, I didn't think K. Rule's gonna be able to recover. I thought he's too deep. I thought he's too deep. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, charging uh, smash attacks, holding them too long, that can be an issue. But it's just something that could be worked out, you know? Could be worked out. But so far, he's doing pretty good. Again, it's another very competitive battle. 
Oh, Mewtwo caught him with the up special. Mewtwo caught him with it and gets the win. Ah, ooh, we got we got ourselves a mirror match here. All right, so my dark pit taking on Jose's dark pit. Um, did he did uh, did Jose? Did you have a? Uh, I didn't see if he had a nickname for his dark pit. Mine is obviously Pit Two. It just makes a lot of sense. We've seen it. Pit Two has been one of my better uh, amiibos. I, I don't think he's lost ever. So he's got that going for him. So pressure is on. Let's see if he can keep up the uh, the win streak here. Or if uh, this, ooh, see, that's the thing. He's facing himself, and Dark Pit has great recovery. What, he's got like four or five jumps, and then that up special's got quite a bit of range, so this should be a good match. This should be a good matchup. There we go. There we go. Pit 2 strike it first. And then he's doing the Pit 2 dance of hatred. I mean, look, he was the Valentine's Day raid boss, and he absolutely hated everybody, so good stuff. Woo! There you go. Jose actually beat Pit 2. Nicely done. All right, last matchup. We got Ka, the new guy, the new person for the raid boss arenas. Ask to face not hard DK, so we'll see how this one plays out. Should be a good one. Um, yeah, uh, typical stuff as usual. This this was so much fun to do. I mean, I, I love having my raid boss face off against you guys, but to be able to have my raid bosses face off against your raid bosses is just that. I don't know. There's that little extra something special that uh, like the competitive factor to it. It's like how how do they stack up? You know, I get to figure out how mine work. I get. Uh, you guys get to figure out how well your your uh, raid bosses are trained. It's uh, I think it's a good time. I do feel everybody enjoys this. This was such a cool thing to do. And uh, don't worry, I will definitely be doing this uh, later uh, again at some point. I think after we get or after I get some more raid bosses trained up for you guys to face off, there'll be more raid bosses. You guys will have more options to uh, pick from, but. Uh, yeah, this is, I don't know, I, I just got a big smile on my face right now. This is very enjoyable. This is such a fun time. And I, again, I'm pretty sure you guys are enjoying it as well. Woo, there you go. Ivysaur picking up uh, Elimination right there. Able to get uh, the score all tied up at one. But Donkey Kong literally claps back and makes it uh, two to one his favor. So, um, I don't know. Not, not hard DK. Look, uh. He's pretty decent. He is pretty decent. Uh, it's not that he can't be defeated. I'm pretty sure he has been defeated. Uh, but, I don't know, like, my not hard DK definitely has work. Donkey Kong is not my best character by any means. So, the more that I can learn about the character, only could make the training if I decide to redo him at some point. Could only make him better. But as of right now, he is what he is and he gets, uh, and he He's going to do what he's going to do. He's extreme big powerhouse. He's going to hit hard. And, uh, I mean, he's getting hit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Did you see the look on Squirtle's face? Felt bad for that little Squirtle. All right. But uh, that is going to be it for this week. As always, I hope you guys truly enjoyed this. Like I was just saying, this was so fun. Such a great time. I absolutely enjoyed it. I hope you guys did, too. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.